and it's been an honor to serve as the assembly member for the 65th district of Lower Manhattan. Since you elected me in 2016, we've accomplished so much together for our working families. Together, we passed the strongest tenant protection laws in a generation. We increased education funding by billions for our public schools, and we passed the Reproductive Health Act and the Child Victims Act to protect women and survivors of sexual abuse. We delivered millions in funding for senior care and for our naturally occurring retirement communities to ensure that our seniors have the quality care that they deserve in neighborhoods that we all call home. We secured historic funding for NYCHA, funding that will provide the needed capital funds to improve the deplorable conditions of our public housing. We've made more progress in the past four years than we have in decades in the legislature, but there is still much more work to be done. This current public health crisis and fight against police brutality has shined a light on the ways in which our system has been designed to fail working families and our communities of color and how we must fight for truly progressive structural change, transformative change. I'm calling for a New Deal recovery from this pandemic by implementing comprehensive measures to address our public health crisis, bolster our social safety net, and help individuals and small businesses recover. We need to suspend rent and implement a rent freeze for tenants and small businesses. We also need to fight to provide free medical essentials to frontline workers and to eliminate co-pays on treatment and medication. Recently, through protests, solidarity, and activism, we were able to place our nation's eyes on the issue of systemic racism and oppression and vote to pass sweeping prison and criminal justice reform to better protect our communities of color. It's hard, it isn't perfect, and we still need teeth, but I have hope that our work today will set the foundation for rebuilding our community from the ground up. Finally, we need to fight back against decades of austerity budgeting that has led us to our systems collapsing on working families by passing progressive revenue generating bills such as the millionaire's tax and the stock buyback tax to ensure the wealthy pay their fair share in supporting our working families and our state. We deserve better as a community. We deserve better as New York and I will always be committed to fighting to make sure that our voices are heard. Thank you all for your continued support and we will continue our fight for progress together. I will continue to fight for us. Vote for me, Yuli New, on June 23rd.